bouche. Well, yeah, just quickly. So my hair has been, my hair feels thicker, but it has been falling out. Um, every time I wash it, I'm getting loads, like a ball full of hair out. It's gone really wiry now, because I just washed it. Um, <laughs> it's all over me now. Hold on. Um, my eyebrows are so thick like because if you have i told you this like i've got ocd uh. um which causes me to do silly things um and one of those things when i'm super stressed is that i actually uh. pull my eyebrows out uh. yeah uh. um i've uh. felt I've, I've definitely not been touching them as much anyway but they're definitely the juicing is definitely making them fuller um and longer so that feels really good um, and my nails as well my teeth are definitely getting whiter um, which is, lay down I'm not going to lay down I've got to get ready um, and someone mentioned about my eyes the other day and I do I feel like my eyes are just wider like more awake and more shiny um so yeah, it's cool. Bye. Right, so today I'm a little, I'm a bit worried because I've got to do some serious um, kneeling. <laughs> I've got, I've got a photo shoot. <coughs> I haven't done a photo shoot in ages, <coughs> um, and I'm looking forward to it because it's a lady I know really well, and I've um, done a shoot for. Her her girls loads and loads of times and she's pregnant again so um i'm really looking forward to it because i know her whole family is just gorgeous uh but um it's gonna be uh, what is the word energetic um i've got to have a lot of energy for this and i'm a bit worried because yesterday we went um we went to a supermarket that was so stressful like because we live in a little tiny village well, it's kind of a town. Um, you know, our biggest supermarket is like this. I mean, it's a little. It's quite big, but it's not, like, huge. Anyway, so we thought we'd go to a Tesco. Ugh, I hate Tesco anyway. But I was like, oh, they've got, like, supposed to have, like, loads of vegan stuff. And they're supposed to have a massive range of organic vegetables and stuff. So we thought we'd go over there. Completely forgot it was Saturday. So it was packed and it's huge. And I'm not being funny, like after the first 10 minutes, like, yeah, there was a lot of fruit and vegetables there. Prices were just the same as everywhere else. Um, there was too much choice. I was seriously overwhelmed. And then we just started walking around and I just thought, all of this, like 90% of what is in this humongous building is junk food like different variations of junk food basically the entire shop there was you know let's say 10 percent being generous of vegetables and actual stuff that you know actually nourishes our body the rest of it and every and on the end of every single aisle were these chocolate eggs and i was, I was actually quite sickened by it like people we're walking around and it's just like just we're we're literally just consuming the planet and like what for like what why are we so obsessed with all these different types of junk food and, and it was just like every aisle that i went down i was just like seeing like 20 types of the same thing and and you know a hundred times the price of real food and I was just like like what have we become I actually, I actually felt really really just disillusioned by the whole thing I was just actually fuming and stressed I was stressed anyway because Matt walked off um but yeah I was stressed out and keeping three kids in a supermarket when you're running around 
and there's a million other people was not fun. So anyway, straight after that, we went to the park, and um, so we were like, we actually had fun in the park, and I, I actually was running around, and I had to go on the zip wire, and normally I'd never do that, I'd just sit sit on the bench, um, well, run after Indy, actually. Um, so that was really fun, and then... We went to like this little corner, there's like a little house and it's got loads and loads of um, fruit and veg outside. And I was just like, why didn't we just come here in the first place? <laughs> why, why did we pass ourselves through that? And, um, and so yeah, so that was really fun. And then we had a good day, although very stressful with this little one. I'm thinking he's still ill from that cold. Um, and literally, like before the kids were even in bed, I was falling asleep. And my back was on fire. And I don't know if that's due to the nap I had the other day, but basically that made me a bit worried about today. So we're going to see how we go. I've not had a juice yet, and I am my body's aching already. Um, so I know I've not had enough juices. The last week I've been really, really silly with not drinking enough like actual juice i've only been having about three-ish pints maybe four pints a day um so i'm just gonna drink loads today and see what happens but i'm sure it'll be fine it'll be fun well i know i'll go into a mode where the shoot will be fine and then i might just drop afterwards that's usually what happens so um but it's gonna be fun Right, go get ready. Go get juice in. Uh -oh.